all right, you're reading along, and they say, okay, the answer is uh, 10 KIP. What? So what is uh, KIP, pronounced KIP? What's a KIP? Is it uh, a kilo inch pound, a kilo pound, a kilo impound, a kilo impact, or none of the above? It's a kilo pound. And oh, by the way, guess what? There's going to be a KSI in your next class. Just look for it, but it's not in this class. But let's not get too bogged down. I'm trying to get you some peculiarities and some slang and some other things. Now, here's this question. On what page of the textbook is Kip talked about, is first introduced, first used in the textbook? This is not to try and embarrass you, but it's on page 9. That's close enough, and it's in this units. And tucked down in here, they say, oh, by the way, what's a mile? Oh, that's 5,280,000 pounds is a kilo pound, a kip, a thousand pounds. Yep. Why don't they just call it KP? I can't go back and change the way it's in science and engineering. I just have to live with it. So I point these things out to you. And yes, it's used in our textbook, and I'm surprised you haven't seen it yet. But you will, if you solve problems. The KI for the kilo, and the P for the pound, and they butchered it to put together. And if I was the first to do it, I'd be like you. I'd put KP for kilo pound. Make too much sense. <laughs>